Welcome to Los Angeles Comic Con, where they bring together cartoons, movies, all kinds of fun, different things, cosplay. Let's go inside and see what's going on. So I've actually never been to Comic Con. One of the big reasons I'm coming this year is because they're interviewing the people who created the X-Men cartoon series. It's the 30th anniversary of X-Men. So I'm gonna go watch that. I don't know if that's a Viking or some dude from Game of Thrones, who knows? Who are you? Nightwing. Who? Nightwing. Nice. Looks great, bro. Are you Spider-Woman? Yes. Nice. I found Batman. I not only found Batman, I found him wiping his nose. What are you guys dressed up as? Oh, cool. <laughs> Bad kid. Who are you guys? I'm Jean Jack. Okay. I'm Tim, or Tommy No. You almost forgot missed the name. Because <laughs> there's twins. Oh, okay. <laughs> and what show is that from? No, it's from uh, Animal Crossing. Oh, okay. Cool. I, I haven't seen that one. And you? I'm, I'm Steven Yoon from No. There you go. <laughs> I did not recognize any of those names or any of those shows. This might be a long day for me. That's the new version of the old school Nintendo. Remember when they made the new version, you could put 30, they had 30 games on it, but then you could buy the hacked copies that had a thousand games on it on eBay. That's what that was. Looks like we got the gamer setups here. True story, I played video games a lot as a kid, but it was way before you could be playing on the internet and getting fans and things like that. I was born about 10 to 15 years later. I might have been a gamer instead of a lawyer and travel vlogger. What is this thing? What's up? Spider-Man. Yeah, who are you? Character. Okay. Built a bunch of armor and some cool props, and I'm like, I gotta do some makeup to match. Love it. <laughs> Pretty sure that's Bowser for Mario Brother. Mario! There's a guy with Bowser's back there, I saw him. <laughs> He's coming around the corner. You can take him out with that sword. Yeah. I'm gonna go into a panel room right now about G.I. Joe and his battle with Cobra. Basically, a lot of times when we had to draw, like, uh, especially the jet, I can't remember the name, but the wings were going forward. Yeah, back. yeah. Conquest the time was we would have to take it. Okay, I know my shit. <laughs> a producer would make a series, would fund the series, have it in the can, and then he would go to local TV stations and say, I will give you a show for free, but I get half the commercial time on it. And also, too, as far as, like, combo printing goes, the average, so, at the peak of G.I. Joe, there was almost 400,000 copies being printed each month. Uh, G.I. Joe single-handedly saved Hasbro, or not Hasbro, um, Marvel Comics. Really cool being in that room. Something I learned that I didn't know is that they, the way they made money was actually from the action figures. And the cartoon shows was basically a marketing or advertising vehicle for the action figures. So they viewed the show as a, as a marketing budget. Cyclops, Rogue, and Deadpool all at the same time. Okay, as I was saying, also comic books were really big in the 80s, and he was saying the G.I. Joe comic books is what kept Marvel alive in the 1980s. Last thing is they killed a character named Duke. I'm not a big G.I. Joe fan, so I don't remember, but I guess they killed a character named Duke, and they got a lot of flack from the audience, from kids crying. So the parents would call the studio and say, why'd you kill the Duke, and all this stuff. So. They actually changed the script a little bit and made it that he was only in a coma. He didn't actually die. So he ended up coming back to life.
now we're gonna go into the X-Men room and see the creators of the X-Men cartoon. Yes. X-Men was my favorite cartoon growing up. Absolutely love it. And in fact, if you subscribe to our channel, you'll see our X-Men bar crawl when I was dressed as Wolverine and mouthing off a little bit to people. Okay, if you know the voice of Rogue from X-Men, that was by Lenore Zan. I hope I'm pronouncing her name. Hey, there's Rogue right there. But anyway, the real Rogue is up there. Captive Hearts and a Rogue's Tale, Bob Skrr. So, in honor of the show's 30th anniversary, we thought today we'd talk a lot about the development of the show, how it got off the ground, its premiere in season one. We are going to get right into it. Well, sugar, uh, my, my, my first uh, hearing about the show was from my Canadian Toronto agent who said, Lenore, um, you know, they're doing this cartoon series. It doesn't have a title yet. It's just, con they're calling it like a Project X, like it's a secretive project. So I just heard the creators of X-Men talk about the history of X-Men. I got to hear the voice of Rogue, which was absolutely amazing. She sounds exactly like she does in the cartoons. My daddy liked to kill himself when he found out I was a mutant. I remember I had me a boyfriend when I was 13. Had me a boyfriend till I kissed him. Poor boy went into a coma for three days. The next panel coming up is X-Men versus Batman. For me, X-Men was number one, but Batman was number two. What did you like more? Let me know in the comments below. Team X-Men, that's Team Batman. Wolverine is the first one to post up like he always is, right? Hey, Tim Woodsman, I'm sending you back to Oz. She and pieces, right? And then here come more. Wolverine, pull back! And then he pushes him out the way and he's using it. And that's all great, that's his friend and stuff. It's just one problem with that. The guy pushes the guy who has super healing out of the way so that the guy who doesn't have super healing gets his ass shot. Sorry, I'm 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 Sunday. Team X Men is taking more of the lead. Yeah. Okay. Catching up. Four hundred. Four hundred for living legacy. Correct response. Both teams. Yeah. Wow. Comes down to this. Comes down to this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, Team X Men will take the crown. They got five Three, seconds. Two, one, zero. For the win and the title of Bragging Rights. But who wins between X Men and Batman the Animated Series? Correct response is thank you all for coming. <laughs> Love to have you. Visit me on ADHX2.com. <laughs> you can find me on Twitter at Mr. Aaron Harris. Come on, dude, just wave your compliment in his hand. Pride! Oh, yeah! yeah. They had an X-Men versus Batman trivia game. I joined Team X-Men, like I said, it's my favorite. I had three others. Batman had a team of four people, and it came down to the final question where we finally won on the last answer. 
meaning X-Men is the better cartoon series over Batman. It's official now. Fascinating to hear the story behind the scenes of X-Men. They said they had been trying to get something like X-Men done for about 10 years and they were unable to do it. Then Batman started to come out. They started working on Batman. So they, they raced over and said, okay, can we do an X-Men thing? They assembled the team together. They were way behind Batman. So they didn't have a bunch of time. They had a deadline to hit and they were able to create X-Men that way. And that is how X-Men was birthed. When you talk to anybody who's made it, they really say like, the magical dust came together and able to bring it together like it was really this like magical thing that came together for it to come out the way it, that it did and of course we are all the beneficiary of it by enjoying this wonderful cartoon series growing up and helping it shape our childhood Did you know that you can dress up in these outfits and go do volunteer work? I just went to a panel and they had a group called Avengers Initiative and people will dress up in costumes and they'll go into hospitals, hang out with kids and things like that. And it gives, brings a smile to the kid's face and they, they associate you with the superheroes, almost like a kid going and seeing Santa Claus. So you can do that as a volunteer thing. It's called Avengers Initiative. I'm definitely gonna check it out because that sounds like a lot of fun and you can help people as well. We are here on the convention room floor. Lots of crazy things going on as well. You can buy all kinds of t-shirts, statues, um, everything everything comic related here pictures artwork what's up oh that was the green ranger who unfortunately in reality passed away earlier this year the character who played the green ranger not the actual green ranger i think he's still alive do you remember watching sandlot as a kid we've got some of the cast and crew here 30 years later i only vaguely remember that movie i remember the kid who is i think like a little bit pudgy had the curly redhead and he kiss the girl when she was trying to do, you know, save him after he had pretended to drown. It's really the only scene I remember, so I wonder if he'll be here. And I wonder if I'll recognize him. I'm just gonna look for that curly red hair. So we've got Grant Gelt, Victor Di Mattia, Tom Guri, Shane Obenzinski, and Marty York. The cast of the beloved classic of the 1993 film, Sandlot! Woo! kiss him and then he would start laughing and we'd have to cut and we'd have to redo it and after like four or five takes David goes this is it <laughs> if you laugh after this you're fired we're gonna recast squints you got one more kiss and we're done and he did and he, yeah, and he did sometimes you gotta threaten a guy's life <laughs> you know what I mean? sometimes you gotta put a guy on blast as I'm listening to them yeah, talk, I'm thinking in my head about the Sandlot movie, but I'm also like confusing with the Goonies. Yes. For whatever reason, those two movies sort of blend together. So I was thinking about scenes from the Sandlot, and I kept thinking about them going through a cave. I'm like, that's not a baseball movie. And I realized, oh, the Goonies and the Sandlot, different, different movies. This is interesting. It says, we will 3D print you. We will 3D print you. Let's ask them what that means. 
Hi, what do you guys do? You 3D print us. What do you guys do? I'm best person on the food lost their voice. Oh, okay, that's you. Okay. Can you tell me then? Yeah, we do 3D digital scans, which we can eventually turn into 3D prints if you like. We just bring you into this booth right here, which has over 90 cameras. It's about to take your two photos, so that's 180 images. In 24 hours in your email, you'll receive a digital um, avatar, which is something like that. Looks like this. Wow. And then you print it like that? Yeah, we can print it Wow. Cool. Okay. How much does it cost? Our smallest one here, right? It's about two hundred a person. Two hundred dollars. Okay. And it ranges from four to fourteen inches, which I can show you over here. Oh, so these are three D printed people? Yeah. This is our fourteen inch. This is our tallest size. Fourteen inches. How much is that? Our fourteen inch. Eight hundred fifty-eight. Okay. And you have to take it in there, right? Yeah. We also have location in San Diego, which you can email us now to schedule an appointment. Okay. Cool. Okay. Wow, that's cool. So they have a location in San Diego. You can get a four inch print for about two hundred something dollars. A fourteen inch print for about eight hundred something dollars. Wow. Is this like Legos, but not Legos, kind of? Lego. Oh, it is Lego. Yeah, wow. Lego, original map design, original build, plans. Wow. So you could buy this and then rebuild it in your house? Or no? Is this just... It's a one-off. It's the only thing of its kind in the world. Oh, wow. Right? I built it. No one else has built it. No one else put build it. That's amazing. Congrats. That's amazing. <laughs> Custom built one-off Lego. No designs provided. You cannot build it unless you figure out how he did it. Some Star Wars Z Legos. Hey, look at this. Autograph Joe Namath, Bo Jackson, Kobe, Emmett Smith, Bart Starr. I thought I could do all of Comic Con in a day and I'm realizing as I walk around that's just not enough time. There's so many cool things to see. This goes on for I think two full days, maybe even a third. So definitely want to spend all full three days next time I'm here. As I was at the X-Men panel, they talked about some books that they were selling about the creation behind the scenes of X-Men. I found the booth. Let's go check out these books. It's one of the most popular part of If you are into X-Men, these books are an absolute must for your collection. The main artist for the X-Men television series. All right, I got my X-Men books here, some for myself, some for my cousins. And word on the street is they're actually going to do a new X-Men series. It's all been, I think, mostly filmed and finished. It's coming out in 2023. And if it does well, they're going to renew future seasons. It will be on Disney Plus. So if you watch the episodes on Disney Plus and it gets enough views, they will renew for more episodes of X-Men. I think they were saying that Disney Plus will count it up to three times. So if you rewatch it three times, all three times get counted as a view. So make sure you watch it three times so we can have more beautiful, wonderful series of X-Men episodes. One quick note, the original writers were actually not invited back. I'm not quite sure why, but they were going to have new writers for the X-Men TV series. I'm curious, what is your favorite X-Men line out of any character of of all time, what's your favorite X-Men line? Let me know in the comments below. It might be, I am as far beyond mutant as they are beyond you. I am as far beyond mutants as they are beyond you. I'm gonna slice through this like a hot knife through butter. And can slice through vanadium steel like a hot knife through butter, buddy. All kinds of comic books here, wow. All right. Uh-oh, what's in there? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Ah. Ah. 
Okay, okay, I'll back up. I'll back up. Oh shit. Red alert. Five minutes. Okay. All right. I'll get in line. Five minutes. Okay. All right. I got busted. Can you put my hands up? Uh oh. Wow. Sorry, my life. What's going on, guys? Come in. Good morning. Uh -oh. I actually don't know why I'm even in here. I got captured. All right. Savage Paradise is taking over the vault, as you can see. And you will have two choices to make today. Door one or door two? Door two. Door two? All right. I'll let you make up. Yeah. Oh, God. Don't hold it against me. Oh. Play the Savage Paradise game right over here. Hands up. <laughs> Not sure what we're supposed to do here. Looks like they're playing video game. Promoting Savage, which is an NFT thing. Oh, maybe here. Wow. Well, I guess we don't really do anything. It's just a little bit anticlimactic. We just hung out. All those food is pretty cool. Her up is pretty cool too. Awesome outfit. Check it out. We got Nightcrawler. This looks so cool. Custom comic covers. I think they take your face and put you on the cover of a comic book, but let's find out. What is this? Hi, we are Make Me a Comic, a completely customizable comic company where anything you dream of we can create into a comic format. Oh. Um, we do pet portraits, we do people portraits, we can also create um, comic covers, and we can also do your story and comic format and story and comic book format. Wow, so if I have a story. I would give you like the script and then you guys would make it in a comic? You can even more simple, just give us, you know, free form written down what your idea would be and then our talented artist can help create the storyboard for you. Okay. And then help kind of piece it together. We go, okay, your story maybe needs four panels. These are the four panels that we think would be awesome. And you go, cool, that's awesome. Or let's add another one and do a fifth panel and just, you know, we work with you on creating the panels for you. So if I want to get a picture like me and my wife like that, yeah. how does that work? So what you do How much something like this cost? They start around 150 and they go up depending on how many people are in there. Um, we have custom backgrounds and we have pre-made backgrounds as well. So depending on um, if you want custom or you know, pre-made, the prices would go. Okay, well. cool. And yeah. is like a website I can I would go to this on? Or? Yeah, so we have makeacomic.com. Uh, and so we've got our card here, website there. Look oh, how you cute can do these pets are. too. That's so cool. They're so cute. Cool. Thank you so much. Yeah, really cool. Yeah. The Red and Pink Rangers. Yeah. 
All right, that'll do it from Comic-Con Los Angeles. I had an amazing time. I bought me some cool books. I learned a lot of cool things about all the creative stuff going on in the industry, and I'm excited to share it with y'all. Like and subscribe for more videos like this.